NVIDIA has just announced that they're planning on cutting GPU production for consumers by over 40% next year. And when you take a little bit of a closer look, it's clear to see exactly why they're doing it. Their plan is mostly to target upper tier cards. They're planning on cutting production of majority of cards that are above a 5060. So the 5070s, 5070 Ti's, 5080s, all the higher end cards they're planning on lowering production for. The main reason for this is they want to move production over to AI companies. It's clear to see from the way that they're currently behaving that their plan is to completely abandon the consumer market and entirely focus on AI. They've completely outgrown the original reason that their company was successful. They have no reason to continue to provide a good service to gamers because their main profitability no longer comes from gaming. Their main profitability comes from their stock prices and sending their hardware to AI companies. They've already signed a deal with Plantier, so instead of your GPUs being used to render a video game of you people, NVIDIA GPUs are actually going to be used to people in real wars. Just seeing the way that these huge companies are currently acting around AI, it's not just NVIDIA, it's OpenAI, it's Microsoft. The way they're acting is extremely suspicious. You've probably heard of the AI bubble where they're basically just circling money between each other. You wonder how long they can actually keep that up before it all comes crashing down and fails. And inevitably when it does, it's not going to be them that really suffers. It's going to be the normal working people when there's a recession in the economy and it affects everybody. Because these companies are too big. When they do fail, the economy cannot recover. Them cutting GPU production by 40% is going to increase their already stupidly priced GPUs up even further. Then you combine that with the DRAM shortage, which is increasing the price of your SSDs, your normal system memory, and the VRAM in your graphics card, which NVIDIA is no longer supplying to their board partners anyway. And it clearly is evident that starting a PC build channel this year was definitely not the smartest plan because I don't know how much longer PC building will continue to exist in its current form. What they're currently pushing for is cloud gaming. At the same time that they're cutting production of their higher end cards, you can play on a 5080 on NVIDIA's website with their cloud streaming service that they offer. They currently have a sale for just a tenner a month you can access their online subscription gaming service where you can access a 5080 for up to eight hours per day. So you're limited. You can't even use it as much as you want. But their plan basically is to completely remove higher tier graphics cards from the market. They're already planning on cutting them by 40%. But just imagine in the next couple of years, I would imagine they're going to entirely stop producing high-end graphics cards for normal consumers and just give their graphics power to AI companies and keep it for themselves and then sell that to you as a subscription service. I wouldn't be surprised if in the future the only way you could access a high-end NVIDIA graphics card is by paying a subscription service where you can only access it eight hours per day. The further and further time progresses, the more obvious it is to the normal person that these companies hold way too much power over us and our governments. And it's honestly just like disgusting to even think about. What's funny now is talking about gaming is almost a political issue <laughs> at this point. And I don't want to go into politics on this channel whatsoever. It seems that a lot of this channel is updating you on how much more expensive PC gaming is going to be getting. Since I've started this channel five months ago, the price of building a normal mid-tier PC has gone up so much. The price of RAM has basically tripled. The price of SSDs has gone up at least 50%. The price of graphics cards has gone up because of the DRAM shortage. All those prices will continue to go up as time progresses. But this is deliberately created. They want it to be super expensive to buy your own computer. What they really want is for you to pay for this. 
they want you to pay for a subscription service. And I called it out in my video two weeks ago where I spoke about cloud gaming. Their plan for this subscription service, they want your graphics card to essentially be like what housing is for this generation, which is essentially you own nothing and you're happy. You rent your GPU from NVIDIA. You don't actually buy it. You don't own it yourself. You basically end up paying the price of a high-end graphics card every five years. And at the end of it, you never owned it in the first place. You no longer own your hardware. If I want to upgrade my GPU right now, I can take it out of my PC and I can sell it to somebody else and then use that money to buy a better graphics card. But what they want is you to pay the exact same amount of money to them per month for the rest of your life. And for you to have no option to go out and purchase a graphics card for yourself that you can own in your own home. They want to take as much power away from the consumer as possible. And honestly, I want you guys to leave a comment on this because I've been thinking about this. How do we actually prevent this from happening? How can you stop these companies? Because I almost think that they're too big to stop. We're kind of just subjected to whatever they want to do. They make the governments happy by giving them large amounts of money and helping them out with contracts and this and that. So the government just lets them do basically whatever they want to do. We cannot stop them because they don't care about us buying their graphics cards any more directly anyway. So they can just force us to end up paying a subscription by just cutting all of their graphics cards, making them no longer available, and then forcing us to pay a subscription service if we want to have any sort of access to a graphics card. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if what happens with Micron happens with NVIDIA as well, where they just completely drop out of the consumer market altogether, apart from subscription services. And they just sell to AI companies. The only real way that you can prevent this from happening is by not buying these services. I'm sure they'll find a way for their service to be necessary for people to have so that they end up with it. But what I will say to you now is that PC gaming is only going to get more expensive from here. Your SSD prices, storage prices, RAM prices, VRAM prices, graphics card prices, all of these prices are set to go up in 2026 and 2027. And I know it may not feel like it, but if you're thinking about building a gaming computer, now is actually a really good time to take action. The whole point of this channel originally, before all this crazy stuff started happening with prices, was that I wanted to just help people build a good value gaming PC. So if you want to reach out on our website, we have a link, we'll help you out. Also, we have a Discord in the description. We can also help you out on the Discord. Basically, all we do is we just explain to you what parts you should buy. And we do that free of charge. We don't charge you for this information. We also build PCs for people. So if you don't know how to build a PC and you want one built for you, we can also do that as well. Because honestly, the way it's looking currently, there might only be a couple more months of you being able to build a computer for under a thousand dollars. That's actually like reasonable in terms of performance. So at this point, boys, strike while the iron is hot. If you've been waiting on building a PC and you're seeing the prices going up and you're thinking, oh, I'll wait a bit longer and hopefully it'll go back down. It will come back down, but I don't think it will be anytime soon. So if you've been thinking about it and you have the money to do it, I would just say, go ahead and do it. And if you need any advice, the link's down below. Also, the new setup is, because I'm away seeing family. So if anybody's got any questions of why I've got a lamp and a leaf behind me, that's because I'm seeing family. But I still wanted to make a video anyway. That's the video, really. That's it. Whee!